Okay, here's what super successful people do. They use their natural interests, their preferences, the way that they like to work, how they like to work. They use their passions and their skills as a foundation to construct a unique set of skills and abilities, skills that are in demand, that hold market value, and that other people are willing to pay them for. This unique set of skills is what's oftentimes called a skill stack or a talent stack. This is a concept that's been popularized by a number of people, including Scott Adams of Dilbert fame. Here are a few interesting points about all this stuff. Okay, point numero uno. It is a myth that you have to be the best in the world at any one specific thing. Instead, truly successful people, however the heck you want to define that for yourself, have a mixture of skills. For example, you might be the best guitarist in the world, or you could be the world's greatest tango dancer, but if you don't have complementary skills to go with these talents and skills and abilities, then they aren't really going to be much use to you beyond personal enjoyment, let's say. And this leads us perfectly into the next point. Point number two, obtain complementary skills. This is really what your skill stack is all about. It's a stack, right? Or a collection of skills and abilities and knowledge and so on that complement each other that increases your probability of success again however you define that for yourself if our best in the world guitarist or tango dancer wants to make a career for themselves what additional skills could they develop to increase their probabilities of reaching their goals whatever again that is for them Sure, geographic location certainly plays a role, connections plays a role, their personal situation plays a role, and other things factor in, but what else could they develop for themselves? What other skills and interests do they have, or could they develop? You know, a favorite example of mine is Jimmy Duresta. If you know who that is, then you know how his skill stack stacks up. <laughs> I don't want to say that he's a general contractor, but he is definitely comfortable around tools and building things and fixing things. He's taken those skills plus creativity, plus video recording and editing, and he's put it all together into something completely unique. Or in a similar vein, if you follow Adam Savage and his tested YouTube channel, then his skill stack might go something like prop building plus engineering maybe plus social media plus childlike curiosity okay here's our next point i kind of forgot what i think this is our third point i kind of forgot which number we're on anyway it doesn't matter super successful people use their natural abilities their natural interests and their preferences as the foundation to build their skill stack on top of it all starts here, really. Initially, what people do, we all do this naturally, is we follow what comes naturally to us, what we're naturally interested in. And what successful people do is they build on top of that. And by the way, my friend, this includes accumulating skills and learning things and gaining knowledge and abilities and so on in things, in topics, in areas that you might not necessarily be interested in, but you know that if you added them to your skill stack, that it would totally complement what you've already got and really create something unique and genuine for yourself. All right, now here's what's next. I hope you're enjoying this kind of content. Head on over to 10tononline.com forward slash free. What I've got there for you is a free online business workshop where we really start putting all of these ideas. They almost feel like puzzle pieces. We really start putting all these puzzle pieces together and really give you a complete picture. I look forward to seeing you there. I look forward to seeing you there. <laughs>